Ohio's COVID-19 cases are steadily rising, reaching numbers we haven't seen in months. And the state reported 2,100 new cases today. That's the highest number we've seen here since mid-April. The numbers are climbing as kids prepare to head back to the classroom. And now some families are adding COVID-19 vaccines to their back-to-school list. For the past three days, there's been a steady rise of people 19 and under getting their shot. News 5's Jesse Schultz joins us now. And Jesse, how are the preparations going for what's shaping up to be a, another unusual school year? Yeah, it is no secret that COVID-19 took so much away from our students these past two school years. But school and health officials know a lot more now about stopping the spread than they did in 2020. And for Shaker Heights officials, a big part of stopping the spread is vaccinations. The dog days of summer are nearing its end. Come celebrate before we start school. And what better way to kick off a new school year than with music, meet and greets and hot dogs. She's very excited to go graduate from elementary. But this back to school barbecue is also a chance for Shaker Heights students to be even more prepared for this upcoming school year. It's a shot to get their shots. Two more vaccination shots are available for anybody 12 and over. Superintendent David Glasner says his main priority is keeping kids inside the classroom. We really expect to stay in person this year and we're putting in place all the strategies we need to to make sure that stays the case. Strategies like hosting a free walk in clinic sponsored by Discount Drug Mart for students over 12 and their families to get the vaccine. We want to make sure that we're eliminating any kinds of barriers um, and providing access for people to get vaccinated. Nequeta Porter's son Cedric is going to be a freshman. I'm excited to to embark on this new you know, season for him. She says it was his choice to get the vaccine. I really allowed my children to make the decision. And after some research, he thought it was the right one. When I saw the needle, I was expecting it to like hurt very much. Uh, and but when I felt it, it was just it didn't feel like anything. Him going into high school is just, you know, that little bit of maturity where, you know, now you got to start making adult decisions and you got to think it through. Dan Bandy's kids are too young to get the vaccine. As soon as they're both eligible, we're, we're going to be on that right away. But he's encouraged by the clinic. It's more exposure and more like talking about it and it being in people's faces. Hopefully that it will present some opportunities for people to go, th go through it or whatever. Yeah. And while a new school year brings with it fears of the unknown, Glasner knows the more people vaccinated, the safer schools will be. We will do whatever it takes. About 20 students got vaccinated at tonight's event. Glasner says they do not require any of their students or staff to get vaccines, and they don't have any type of data on just how many of their students are vaccinated. But he says he is looking forward to hosting more vaccine clinics in the future. Reporting for News 5, I'm Jesse Schultz. All right, Jesse, thank you so much.